welcome back to the channel my love today i'm doing a massive eyeshadow palette declutter this is my whole entire eyeshadow collection basically and i'm going to be decluttering because it's time to do that i wanted to show you guys how many palettes i own at the moment i did declutter a little bit before this so i don't know if that counts and i completely honestly i just couldn't fit any more palettes on the drawer that i have and mind you you guys i have a drawer that is pretty fucking deep this drawer is for clothing so you know how deep and like this holds a lot um anyways i had to get rid of some before this because it was just so much you guys but here i wanted to give you guys an insight on how many palettes i have i also did a mini giveaway on my instagram to guess how many palettes i have um a lot of you guessed really really wrong <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this mini counting series here and i wanted to update you as well that i will be moving you guys and this is one of the main reasons why i'm decluttering my whole collection i also decluttered my entire collection but i only show my eyeshadow palette because i feel like this will be a long long video if i were to do my entire collection is just way too much i really tried the hardest today to actually just declutter as much as i could because honestly as one person you don't really use everything you know what i mean and makeup is constantly coming out and i am so grateful that i'm able to be on pr list and of course i get to show you guys all these products all these new upcoming products and videos and things like that so i definitely have to keep decluttering because otherwise the collection will get so so massive i just feel like it will be unfair to keep all that stuff that i could just give away to other people that give it use person i always remind myself that i'm only one person and you don't need this much makeup the questions that i asked myself before i declutter was how old is this product do i use it enough or have i used it in the past six months do i like the quality do i like the eyeshadows so that's like kind of the questions that i asked myself to be able to help me get rid of um palettes that i honestly don't use all right you guys so that's pretty much how many palettes i have now i'm trying to go through and organize by brand so here i have all my ColourPop palettes and this is a really heels which is like the brands that i really want to stick with because they are my favorite and also over here juvia's place again i have like a little server for myself to help me just declutter better i feel like i have too many for one person it's just like overwhelming before i you know go ahead and like touch it out so um let's go ahead and do this little mission right here because it's a lot to go through so again i was just organizing the palettes by brand so then i could just go by brand and getting rid of everything else so let's go ahead and start with color pops and since i have it right here so i have all of their sort of mini magnetic palettes um i have five of them and i actually really like these formulas as you can see i have definitely used these shades i really like this palette because it's just overall if you want anything from black or white or gray tones which not many palettes have so i'm definitely going to keep this one this is blue moon by ColourPop. the one reason why i like these palettes is just because they have all your basic needs in terms of colors especially if you want to do uh, monochromatic colors as well so i do like the formula of this palette so i'm going to keep this one this palette i actually have not used it in the past six months i think i'm going to get rid of it it's just peachy normal colors that i could find in other palettes another one this is a yellow one and i actually really really love yellow shadows you guys and i don't feel like many palettes have them so i'm definitely going to keep this one we have another super beautiful minty palette right here i don't have many uh pastel palettes like this one so i'm definitely going to keep this one for that purpose and now here we have more of like their pressed powder palettes which come on this little like cardboard and i have gotten rid of, uh, rid of a lot of them you guys this one is a new one which is why i'm not throwing it out because i have yet to use it and it's brand new so i'm definitely going to try this baby they also sent me blushing nudes and this one brings two different palettes and these are just pretty nude shades you guys know nude shades are pretty much in every palette almost in every palette you know what i mean these colors are beautiful though don't get me wrong and these are pretty brand new you guys guys these are palettes that i have not tried not touched so i'm definitely gonna put this on the pile of like giveaways because they're brand new and perfect for gift these i just got them as well but i already have this one so i'm definitely gonna be uh getting rid of this palette right here big poppy and it's just beautiful matte oranges super super gorgeous but again these are shadows that i'm definitely able to find in other palettes and then we have this one it's sunshine which i already have right here and i'm definitely gonna keep this one again very pretty matte shades that are super super wearable and this one is that taupe another palette that i really like because it has really nice cool tone browns let's see how these compare together so i'll show you guys in a minute we have more of that same pressed powder palette but a little bit larger as you can see here compared to the square palette it's a little bit bigger and this is just a pretty soft shade 
definitely gonna get rid of it i don't think i'll get too much use of it this is you so this is gonna be on the pile for like friends and family next we have good as gold another beautiful palette that has a lot of golds this is the only reason why i keep this palette because of the golds in here they're just so so stunning so i'm definitely gonna keep this one next we have butterfly and i have not touched this since my last declutter so i'm definitely gonna get rid of it next we have von Donor, and this is a beautiful palette in it and i'm so shocked that it also has a mirror usually their palettes do not bring mirrors so i'm definitely gonna keep this one i like the variation that it has super super cute it's new and i have not tried it i just got it this month so i'm definitely want to try it so now i'm going to show you guys the difference between this taupe and the stone cold palette oh maybe i can get rid of all these mini palettes you see what i mean like there's a lot of similarity in shades with this palette as well whoa yeah definitely gonna get rid of it you guys because there's a lot of similarities in here definitely keeping this one and tossing out cluttering taupe so i feel like i did a very good job you guys we are keeping these from colourpop palettes now we have here majority of my palettes from uh, Juvia's Place. These are their mini palettes right here. So we have the Topes by Juvia's Place. You guys, this is a brand that I do love their palettes. Don't want to get rid of anything, but this is the palette right here that I don't use and I probably won't be using. This is a nude palette. Again, super basic. This is another palette that I don't think I'll be using. I'm not the biggest fan of the colors here. I'm really trying to declutter as much as I can because I just cannot take so many palettes. We also have the chocolates. This one I definitely love because of the very deep 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 brown i don't have shades like these ones so definitely gonna keep this one we also have the queen palette by fumi and this one is another palette that i have not touched since i got it so i'm definitely gonna get rid of this one this is one of my favorite one nuvia 3 coral palettes that i used to wear all the time religiously absolutely love the quality on this palette definitely keeping it oh wait we haven't finished with a mini one so we have the newest la mariposa palette with jammy angelina i love the quality you guys these are perfect for like spring and summer definitely gonna keep this one we also have sweet pinks i'm definitely gonna keep because i really like these pink shades right here next we have violets these shades are not i'm not the biggest fan of because it does has a lot more shimmers than matte and so i'm gonna declutter this one we have the berries i love, love love these you know what you guys now that i'm looking at the berry shades i think i'm gonna keep this one and just get rid of the clutter the pinks uh palette we also have a nomad right here and here is another palette i absolutely love and you could definitely find these shades also in the minis that's what i'm saying like i like rather keep bigger palettes than keeping a whole bunch of a mini palette so let's say like this one it could be substituted with this shade right here you know what i mean um this one as well could be substituted to this one this the undertone is a bit just different this one right here reminds me so much of this shade also so i'm definitely going to keep the nomads right here and get rid of the little one we have the warrior three this is another palette i absolutely love because of the shades you guys they are gorgeous definitely definitely going to keep this one we have the nuvian two palette and i think i'm going to get rid of this one you guys just because of how old it is it's pretty old so i'm definitely gonna get rid of it because i have not touched this baby whatsoever next we have the wahala palette this was the first palette that they ever launched for the wahala collection and this is their second one and i do love the second one so much more i just really like the colors theme that it has going on here versus this one this one the quality wasn't the best i think i'm gonna keep the two and get rid of the number one so you guys this is all i'm keeping from juvia's place which i'm super freaking surprised because i love their brand and i never want to get rid of anything so this is huge for me right now and this is everything that with the clutter i feel like i'm going half and half here so it's really nice next you guys we have my collection from from anastasia really heels this is a brand that i will never never get rid of the amrenzi palace is one that i highly recommend it's amazing quality one of their best best formula ever for sure this one was probably one of the worst formulas that they ever ever did but um i'm gonna keep it you guys i really love collecting their palette their the majority of them are really amazing i do have their minis as well this one i'm definitely gonna get rid of because i just have not touched in a hot minute and i don't think i will anytime soon and we also have the mini collection right here the second one not gonna use it so i'm gonna get rid of these anastasia really heels norvina collection these are my favorite palettes that i ever try in my entire life i really really like how they work the colors everything about them is just amazing and again i just really enjoy really enjoy collecting makeup from abh i just really love the brand overall so i'm gonna keep all of the palettes 
Next, you guys, we have this brand, Carity. This is another brand that I have not touched in such a long time, you guys. I love the colors and everything. I really want to keep this one at least. And I think I'm going to get rid of the other two right here. I feel like every time I open a palette, it's like, ooh, all over again. Like, look at all those colors. I just love the colors. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to keep these two and get rid of this one. This one is the Picante palette. Probably not going to use anytime soon. And I have not touched it anytime in the past six months. So I'm going to get rid of this. We also have here Urban Decay, you guys. I have a few palettes from them. I have the urban decay ultraviolet their palettes just like basic as colors that you can find in almost every other palette for sure they're not that crazy i do love collecting their brand expensive brand but i think i'm gonna declutter these you guys i really think i'm gonna declutter these baby because i just don't use these enough at all i just like them because of the packaging they look freaking cute and they're expensive so i don't know um this one I'm, or maybe i should keep this one and get rid of these but i really like the packaging on these you guys like they just look so stunning i think i'm gonna keep this one right here just because i want one at least don't get me wrong this palette also beautiful beautiful quality next i have exotic peacock from pinky rose these are palettes that are beautiful have amazing amazing color variation but i just don't use them at all so i think i'm gonna get rid of it another brand that i have here is nomad cosmetics as much as i love the brand you guys i just don't use these palettes enough they just don't call my attention they're pretty like pale colors that i probably would not wear um the packaging and everything and the, they are truly amazing brand but i just cannot get myself to use these palettes i also have their little quads right here another palette that i have not touched at all so i'm gonna get rid of it and this is their pastel palette this is the only pastel palette that i own so it's the only reason why i keep it and it's also a really beautiful quality their quality is also very buttery and they also have the orient express another palette that i keep on their pack this gets really really dirty you guys super easy this is one of their latest launches so i'm definitely gonna keep it because i want to try it a little bit more but the quality overall you guys of this brand it's really beautiful and the packaging again is just i have to keep it another brand we have here is la girl this is another palette i have for a few months now and i have not touched it and i don't think i will be touching it anytime soon you guys so i'm definitely gonna get rid of it it's pretty like new and i still have not touched this baby so another one is the artistry pro palette again beautiful beautiful but have not touched this so i'm definitely decluttering it and last but not least we have the break free palette another one you guys that is almost new and i have not touched this baby so i'm gonna declutter this next we have here opb beauty another brand that i absolutely adore they're black owned as well from the uk and these are just palettes that i don't use i do love the deep browns these are perfect for fall as well and i think i'm gonna get rid of this one right here i'm gonna keep these two tropical dreams and also their rainbow splash palette just because it has colors and i love love colors so definitely gonna keep this one i also have my only morphe palettes right here this was their armor and gorgeous by jacqueline hill and morphe i'm gonna get rid of this one i have not used it in such a long times so i'm gonna get rid of that definitely keep you guys as the original because it's a basic amazing quality and you basically have all of the freaking shades that you ever needed here from like super soft shimmers and matte as well and you have your basic black which is always an essential so and i also have the original 35b this is where everything basically started and people just went crazy with the colors but i have not used this baby in such a long time you know what's crazy you guys for this brand glam light i had a few more palettes and i already decluttered them before i even made this video because i just i just couldn't fit any more shadow seers this is a palette that is absolutely beautiful i love the whole theme of it I haven't touched it it's pretty new and yeah i'm just gonna get rid of it this one is their ice cream palette and i feel like it's one of the best quality that they have honestly i just freaking adore this palette so so much definitely not getting rid of this one you guys absolutely love love all this quality and the shout the shadows the color theme everything it's beautiful the shimmers are amazing they also have the cake palette another one of my favorite ones um definitely keeping this baby as well because the the whole theme of it is just too cute not to keep it and we also have here their paint palette another iconic colorful palette that i absolutely adore we have this brand alicia in paradise with johnny b this is actually a cousin of mine that did a collaboration with a brand they are from the dominican republic guys and this is the only palette that i have from them so i'm definitely going to keep it because i want to use it a little bit more you guys i have here another palette from revolution makeup and this one i have not used since my last declutter i'm gonna get rid of it i have not 
touch it it looks amazing and everything but i'm not gonna touch this one we also have here this palette it's so beautiful i love the colors but it's another palette i have not touched in such a long time so i'm gonna get rid of it we also have the petite bright palette i love these colors in here and i would like to keep it but you guys i just don't I have not touched this palette <laughs> at all another palette it's pretty new and i'm just i have to get rid of it we have here Uoma. you guys know i really love Uoma palettes they're super super beautiful um we have here their black magic carnival and their black magic original palette right here i truly love both of them i'm not the craziest fan of the shadows you guys these are the only two palettes that i have from them so i'm definitely going to keep them because i do love the brand very very much next you guys i have some palette here from wet and wild we have their wet and wild and bretman rock jungle rock eyeshadow palette another palette i have not touched in a very long time so i'm gonna get rid of it we also have the pac-man the pac-man game over color palette these shadows you guys are actually really really nice like i'm not even kidding i really love the quality of this palette they're so good i think i'm gonna keep that one but i'm definitely gonna get rid of this right here and we have the ultimate the james chow beat down i just love it because it's a super easy all in one kind of palette especially when i'm doing like drugstore look so i'm definitely gonna keep this one next you guys we have some palettes from bh cosmetic this is the drop dead gorgeous full-on crazy this is new i want to try it out so i'm definitely keeping this one we have the mimosa palette another palette i have tried just probably once and never touch it again so i'm definitely gonna get declutter this we also have their trendy in tokyo beautiful beautiful colors i absolutely love them but i have not touched another this palette so i'm gonna get rid of it here is their naughty eyeshadow palette for this christmas collection they are so beautiful you guys i really love all of the colors in here i think i'm gonna keep this palette again it's brand new i have not touched it so this is like my new palette i'm definitely keeping sis i'm definitely keeping them next we have some palettes from house of labs i think i'm only going to keep this one stupid love it's like has to be my favorite from everything else i also have their first palette ever glam room i just don't use it at all so i'm gonna get rid of this one and i also have their latest four weight shadow palette i did get declutter the other one so i'm definitely gonna keep this one because i want to give it a try we have one of the first alamar cosmetic palette i have not touched this ever again because i had it for a few years now and i don't even remember the last time that i used this so i'm gonna get rid of it we have this dreaming in color b bella cosmetics we have this beautiful palette right here these are actually really nice shadows you guys for the price they're so so beautiful i think i'm gonna keep them you guys just because i wanted a few more tries and then probably next time that i declutter i'm probably gonna get rid of them for sure next i have some huda beauty palettes that i have not touched as well these are the huda beauty khaki palette i really really like the color tone in this one i think i'm gonna keep this right here warm obsession not gonna use this for sure i have not even touched it like it's pretty brand new and this is also another palette and it looks like that yeah this is another product that i'm probably not even gonna use so we have some palettes from violet vase you guys i truly love their quality they're really nice love mats so i'm definitely gonna keep this palette and this is their other one that looks like this and this one is definitely one that i I'm, i can assure myself that i'm not gonna use so i'm definitely gonna get declutter this one i also have an authentic palette right here from by sd beauty this palette i have not touched you guys at all i don't gravitate towards it not not as much so i'm gonna get rid of it i have the baked brown by dose of colors this thing is amazing i love their eyeshadows they're so buttery so freaking fine and amazing definitely gonna keep this palette i have the jeffree star cosmetic thirsty palette this one was gifted to me by my best friend and it's the only reason why i got rid of it because it was a gift from her so i'm gonna keep it i have not even touched this palette you guys as you can see but i just keep it because it's my only palette right there so yeah and this one is actually my best friend's collection pinkaholic it is such a beautiful palette you guys it has all of the pinks that you need basically so if you're into pink definitely check them out they're a small black owned brand they work amazing super super pigmented as well like you will not regret it they're so so nice we have here the tarlet flirt palette super super cute and tiny and this is another palette that i have not touched whatsoever you guys i'm definitely gonna declutter it we have here my one and only lime crime palette you guys and i'm definitely gonna keep it because i really love the color and i'm always trying to remind myself to use it and i never do but i'm gonna try now that i have a weightless palette all right my love so this is pretty much everything that i declutter i feel like i did a really freaking good job because i declutter so much from juvia's place to like literally everything we morphe um we got some urban decay la girl glam light alamar cosmetics carity i mean the list goes on um i have not done a huge declutter like this one in a minute so yeah definitely gonna be giving this away anyways these are the items that i basically stay with i love how much more space i have
have but you guys this is not how i'm gonna organize it because i am moving i just put it on here so you guys can have an idea on what i stay with but this is not how i'm gonna organize it of course anyways you guys definitely gonna keep you updated on the move and sharing with you guys everything so be sure you guys stay tuned for the next video anyways i love you and i'll see you on my next one bye